biomimicry before getting into the topic let me say you a story so there is a desert named nabib in africa rainfall is very low in that area the people living there faced water scarcity not only in nabib desert but uh, people living in these desert areas face this problem these days not only desert areas but even some of our lands are becoming dry due to some reasons like uh, over exploitation of natural resources so even we should use water properly and save water so that it would be a great help to our future generations so scientists started to research to find a better way to harvest water then a beetle attracted them because living in the same desert it can get good quantity of water whereas the people can't but how is this possible so scientists observed this darkling beetle keenly to find the answer and witnessed some of its unique characteristics like when the wind flows it rises its back part of the body upwards finally discovered that the beetle can trap water or fog present in the air because the shell is made out of a slick wax that resembles teflon so water easily flows off its body and into the mouth this behavior is known as fog basking so many researchers got attracted by this water collecting technique gave rise to many innovations the startup nbd nano are developing a water collecting bottle using the same biologically inspired technology this self filling vessel will be pulling 3 liters of water from the air per hour although this will no doubt depend on various environmental factors not least of which being air humidity and kinetic going to take up a project that is a specially designed tent which could be used by people camping in arid climates to collect a drinkable water from the air so a little beetle surprised all the puzzled brains and gave a fantastic answer or basic idea of this new water harvesting techniques coming to next we all know that japan invented the bullet train so when they did that everything was all right but the typical shape was causing a loud booming sound when these trains would exit typical train tunnels so this sound was waking up people who lived nearby and it disturbing the wildlife a lot and the reason behind this was that this cushion of air was building up in front of that speeding train going like 300 kilometers per hour so all the engineers were trying to solve this problem One of them was a bird watcher. He had witnessed a kingfisher bird diving down through the air going into the water and creating very little splash. So he thought, I wonder if I could apply this principle to the shape of the front of the bullet train. And so they did. The front of the train like the kingfisher's face. It has a pointy part to it just like the beak of the kingfisher. and sure enough when they tried out the new model it moved through without creating the boom and it saved them 10 to 15% more energy because it was more aerodynamic the kingfisher corrected the bullet train am i right so what did you conclude from these above narrations a practice that learns from and mimics the strategies found in nature to solve human design challenges that is known as biomimicry look at the nature it's a combination of infinite number of unique creatures every living thing in this world has its beauty and its own speciality nature is the creator of this amazing world nature is an answer to many of our questions we can experience a lot of lovely moments in the lap of nature nature is a solution for everything it can heal you and me that's why scientists looking at the nature and great creations of god 
to find the solutions for many questions in their inventions and recreating it. I gave only two of the examples of biomimicry, but there are many inventions inspired by nature. These few examples out of thousands of biomimicric applications have been brought to your attention because you too are capable of contributing valuable ideas to develop the field of technology. Practice and train yourselves to observe nature with curiosity. It is certain that you can retrieve new concepts that would direct technology to new world. Learn from nature, discover nature, be an inventor.